So we have here a 2000 Jeep Cherokee with the uh, original cluster and it's got a little issue so I'm going to show you how to do a cluster self test on these. And basically all you need to do is hold down on the trip reset button when it first powers up. So it's kind of a two handed task but you need to hold down and turn your key to on. Alright since it's a two handed task I've got my camera awkwardly placed so I'm going to need to Push, hold down on the trip reset while I turn the key on with my other hand over here. So there's that on. And now we're doing the self test. So you see how it's going through, it's moving the gauges. If you notice, only the gauges on the left are moving, none of them on the right are moving. So on this cluster, the speedometer, the oil pressure, and the temperature gauge have stopped working. And there, that's a complete test. So I'll do this again with a replacement cluster that we're about to install. So I'm about to do a uh, cluster self-check on a Jeep Cherokee here. So I'm going to hold the trip reset while I turn on the key with my other hand. And now we're in the self-checkup mode. So you see all the gauges move and uh, they'll drive to come to points, the odometer goes through all the values, everything lights up. So you should be able to check and see if everything's working on it. So if somebody's put electrical tape over a check engine light or whatever, this is how you can see it. So again, to do that, hold down on the trip reset button at the same time you turn the key to on, and then release the trip reset. It's a two-handed task, so it's a little hard to show on video.